This morning on Sundays with Harry, Harry introduces us to a family who is really in touch with pop culture over the generations. Pop culture, I got it. We like it a lot. <laughs> uh, for some of us, you know, it's snow caps, maybe, Sour Patch Kids, Nachos No Way. For me, it's movies and popcorn. I cannot go into a movie theater and not get the stuff. <laughs> There is something about popcorn, the sound, the smell. It's quite simple. Popcorn makes us happy. What better name then for a popcorn company than Jolly Time? What's your address? One Fun Place. <laughs> so is this one fun place or one fun place? Yes. <laughs> Gary Smith's great-grandfather, no relation, started Jolly Time 101 years ago in Sioux City, Iowa. Gary knows the secrets of the corn. Well, that looks really good. That is good. Yeah. What's going to make that single kernel of popcorn a successful kernel of popcorn? The hard outer shell has to be completely tight so that there was no moisture leakage. And that moisture needs to be at 13.5% because that's where the explosion is at its peak. At what temperature? 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Science. <laughs> Real tough science. <laughs> Every fall, the big trucks roll into the yard at Jolly Time, loaded with a kind of corn that's perfect to pop. Then it goes into this, a gizmo that knocks out the substandard kernels. And what we want is the corn in between. We want to get rid of the very large, and we want to get rid of the very small. Then it gets really serious. What does this thing do? This is what we call a color scanner. It's the last quality check before it goes into the pack. How much is going through here? 60,000 pounds uh, uh, an hour. How does it suck the bad stuff out? What it does is an ultraviolet light sees the bad stuff and a puff of air shoots it away. Who knew? Jolly Time is a David competing against the giants in the popcorn field. Orville Redenbacher and Pop Secret. Still, they turn out 60 million pounds of this stuff every year. The Smiths are forever tasting and testing to make sure their popcorn has what it takes. Damn good. And here's the inside skinny. The true measure of popcorn prowess? Expansion ratio. What's this gizmo? This gizmo measures the volume of the popcorn, the expansion ratio. This is showing that this popcorn expanded 43 to 44 times its original volume. Wow. Wow. Is that good? That's very good. So if you have an inch worth of popcorn, right. it's going to pop up 40 times its original volume. 40 inches. Let's all go to the lobby. So when you go to the movies, know this. The bigger the popped kernel, the fewer kernels required to fill the box, which means more profit for the popper. The popcorn can't be beat which puts a lot of pressure on Gary. He has a lot of history to uphold. We're all very proud of that. And, uh, and it maybe gives me a little pause. I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but I think the word would be pride more than anything else. I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Right? You can't. I can't you see a bowl of popcorn, you have to put yeah. your hands in it, right? Harry, that story was awesome, as they always are. And I learned so much. So well, much science. there you have it. I like mine with cheese. And really? Mm -hmm. I dip it in the nacho cheese. And mm. perfect for the Globes perfect tonight. Perfect timing for the Golden Globes tonight. We're Breaking all going to be having base. our popcorn. By the way, Matt Savannah, the rest of the Today Show gang, holding the gold, hosting the Golden Globes pre-show tonight.